Westwood for AMA Hits, and I'm here with Dan Snaith, a.k.a. Caribou, formerly known as Manitoba. How are you, Dan? Good. So welcome to Vancouver. How's the tour going so far? It's been great. Yeah, it's been, uh, well, it's either been two weeks or it's been like the whole year, depending on whether you, which way you look at it. So I'd like to talk about math for a little bit, because you come from a math family and actually have a PhD in mathematics. How do you feel that the, your background in math informs the way that you make music? Um, it's hard for me to say, I think, because I've, it's such a part of my life, that, that, that kind of way of thinking or whatever has always been around and has always been a part, part of my personality, but definitely not in the way people expect. People expect me to be making music with some kind of a formula or in this very systematic fashion, very kind of rational fashion, which couldn't be more the opposite. I mean, music is like an emotional intuitive thing and it's about kind of getting that kind of ex emotional excitement so I like them for similar reasons they're both kind of mental activities they're both solitary in the way that I record and the way I did mathematics the kind of things that you get lost in your head so I would like to talk also about your album swim and the album title you didn't know how to swim until about two years ago and then your wife bought you swimming lessons for Christmas correct yeah that's right and uh, I mean I did I did kind of know how to swim I could like stay afloat but it wasn't something I could enjoy doing because I never could do like the front crawl with the breathing properly basically so it was always like this exhausting process and so it's like learning to do it properly or whatever it started from scratch and, and just became more and more interested in it more and more obsessed by it and that's really I mean while I was making this record I was making music all the time going swimming every day and going out to clubs on the weekends and that was like pretty much the extent of everything I did during that year and and so I, and I also had this idea already of wanting to make music that was aesthetically liquid or the kind of dynamics of the sounds were kind of fluid everything was kind of flowing around so naturally that was kind of informed also by the process of being in a swimming large body of water a lot of time. Very cool. Now, you've always produced your own records. Uh, do you find that as both a composer and producer that you wear different hats in that process? It wasn't until Andorra that I really even thought about composing music, writing music. It always was just kind of production-led and then intuitively kind of, oh, what chord would be, good, be a good chord to go next or whatever, and, and think not really in terms of kind of composing a whole piece of music. So my natural inclination is definitely to think of it all as the same thing. The vast majority of the recording process takes place in my apartment in London. I just work at home, but it's uh, and then mixing the record took place in Hamilton and and in Wales, and that was I mean that was over the course of a week I guess in each place mixing those those tracks, and it's the first time that I I mean normally I just mix the tracks myself at home in my apartment as well. Um, because and because I've always it's just been like a do-it-yourself kind of thing I've just done everything involved so and this time I really wanted to make it kind of have somebody's you know opinion on that have kind of somebody that I respect to work with um, have their input so all the video projections for this tour were done by our guitarist Ryan Smith who um, yeah who's and actually the they're great and the, one of the most exciting parts about them for me is that they're all performed live on stage. He has a series of pedals and then other, the rest of us on stage have all these pedals that are connected together and so they're being played like an instrument. They're not just like a DVD being played. Or whatever, so, so I've never heard of that being done before. Yeah, well, I mean, we wanted to, I guess, the, 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 have some kind of synchronicity between the music and the video things kind of happening at the same time, etc. But we didn't want the music to be like tied to a kind of metronome or whatever that would allow us to line everything up so the other option is just to play just like we're playing all the parts like instruments so we play the video as well and all the lighting and all that kind of stuff so it would probably be different every night then yeah exactly it seemed like a great idea because the music is also different every night so it kind of goes along with what's going on musically it's fluid just like swimming yeah exactly for more info on caribou check out caribou.fm and spread the good word